The BCA Hub video series brings together the latest video tech tips on wheel hubs, bearings, and seals, featuring the experts you trust. Brought to you by BCA Bearings by NTN. Learn more at bcabearings.com. So Matt, what's the deal with replacing a wheel bearing on a Tesla Model S, Model X? Do you need any insulated tools, high voltage gloves? From what I can see, you don't need those, but it's different for, than most vehicles in some ways. You don't need insulated gloves while you're working on, on the hub assembly or, or brakes. You don't need any insulated tools while doing general service repair. But the difference in design on the Teslas is you're gonna have a rolled closure, orbitally closed design. And what that is, is if you see here, this is the part of the inner ring that is gonna be rolled over and capturing it and applying preload to the, to the bearing assembly. It reduces the possibility of premature wear if you don't get the torque spec correct. It ensures longer life, lower warranties. Currently, we've got about 400 part numbers in our line that are orbitally or rolled closed design. And we continue to add more as we release product moving forward. But man, both models, they need high quality wheel bearings that can withstand the electric motor's instant torque and the hefty curb weight of 4,300 pounds. I mean, this is the same weight as, let's say, a Chevy Traverse, a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, both the front and rear hub units are held to the knuckles using four bolts, just like a lot of uh, other vehicles out there. They only require 65 foot-pounds. But the only thing to really worry about is corrosion in the bore of the knuckle, which you see is kind of common on some older Teslas since they've been out for, God, almost more than a decade. Yeah, it's a common problem having dissimilar metals in contact with each other. So you'll get a steel housed uh, bearing assembly. We will sometimes, uh, as in this case, we apply some sort of dichromate or, or rust preventative coating to uh, minimize that. But uh, I also like to double down and I'll put a little dielectric grease or, or something just to keep that uh, conductivity down between the two dissimilar metals. Another question coming up, what about the torque for the axle nut on this one? Is it anything special with this one? Well, like you said, it is an instant, but that's not anything that's really new to the automobile world. But it is designed into the bearing preload and to the specifications on the inside. So from my experience, the most difficult thing with this is actually preparing the vehicle to install the wheel bearing. And there's just a couple things the uh, technician needs to remember. I mean, the first thing, once they pull into the bay, they got to make sure that they're very careful with the lift. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think about it, that's just one big battery on the, the bottom. battery tray, yeah. So if they're just kicking the arm underneath it and hoping to hit something, chances are they're not going to have any success. No, it's an expensive oops. And there are the four mounting points underneath that are specified and called out. So they have to be aware of that. And you can usually see those right away mm -hmm. because it's a, a nice, clearly marked, clearly yeah. marked mm -hmm. underneath it. I think the other thing a lot of technicians forget is to put this thing in a tow mm -hmm. or service mode. First of all, after you get it positioned in the bay and even before you get the lift arranged, this will help you to maneuver the mm -hmm. Tesla in the bay itself to get the aiming of the, uh, the lift arms correct. Correct. Yeah, on Teslas with the electric motors, you're going to have drag, if you will. And, and hitting the switch is going to disable that, make it easier to move. Uh, plus, with the air suspension, you're not going to do any damage when you lower the suspension. And, and air suspension has been around with disabled switches for a while, so they should be somewhat familiar with that. But accessing that is through the, the screen in the menu board. But beyond that, it's pretty much a conventional yes. wheel bearing on these mm -hmm. vehicles. It is. So this is one more service a shop can add to bring in those Tesla yeah. customers. It shouldn't intimidate anyone. Well, thank you, Matt. No problem. And uh, I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.